So that's the uh, two of spades. We'll take the upper left corner, just like so. Watch the corner, watch one, two, three, just like that. Now you'll be able to see, let me just get the zoom in, I mean the focus, there we go. You'll be able to see there's no creases, there's no tears, there's nothing. And that is the trick. Well, what's good peeps, it's your boy Edward Toda. So today finally reacting to a person that you guys have been requesting for a while, Kyle Eshan, Eshan, I don't know if it's French or if it's what, it, it, it. if it's French would be like Eshan, right? Like something like, you know, something that sounds a bit like croissant. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce these names, man. I've seen this dude before. I have definitely seen this dude before. I don't think I've seen his full ass performance, but I've seen him before and he's hilarious. So I'm curious to see what, what he has to perform. So let's get right into it. Kyle was anxious about doing this interview. So he asked me, his therapist, to do it instead. The best way to describe Kyle is that he's someone who learned all his social skills from books, written by people who learned all their social skills from books. Okay, so this guy's another Kyle's one of those guys that... magic since the age of 10. Kyle does magic because he has a latent and persistent compulsion to lie. <laughs> To help Kyle overcome stage fright, we intend to build him up gradually. First, he'll perform for inanimate objects, <laughs> then fish, then parrots, then flamingos, and then finally asbestos. <laughs> I think that Kyle will be able to perform for Penn & Teller. The therapy has never failed, and I have no doubt that he will flourish. Well, thank you for the interview, and I wish him the best tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> Who was that? That's just another guy that like has his persona even off stage. I love that. Like, he holds that when he's performing, and doesn't matter what he's doing. That's cool. Fishing comedy magic, you kind of have to. Well, I can't think of a more beautiful introduction myself, so please welcome the young and recently showered Kyle Eschen. So obviously, I'm a magician. I think that's the third best thing about me. The second being my hygiene. The first being the fact that I'm not an arsonist. <laughs> I got my start at children's birthday parties. I'd say clever things like, hey kids, which hand holds the shrimp? <laughs> Wrong. You're all flawed human beings. <laughs> <laughs> they all loved me, though not everyone has been so enamored with my act. Uh, for instance, and this is a true story, after one show, a woman walked up to me and said, you're rather socially awkward on stage. Do you have Asperger's? And I thought that was a strange question to ask, because that's usually my pickup line. <laughs> now oh, that the that's persona a good one. has been established, that's actually a really good one. We can proceed with a rather disappointing miracle that requires the assistance of a member of the audience. If you, sir, would mind joining me on stage, let's have a round of applause for Mr. I like that. I like the Asperger's joke, man. That's because it's, it's like you got layers to it. I like that. Just standing here, no one likes to be summoned from the crowd to assist a magician, so I do appreciate it. This trick requires a very special prop, which I keep in a very special place. <laughs> My pocket. <laughs> Now, I know you were expecting me to pull something out of your ear, but in fact, I did the opposite. I put something in. You'll discover in about a week's time <laughs> when it hatches. <laughs> Magicians are terrible at dating, so we need some mechanism oh, by man. which to pass on our genes. <laughs> Who knew that magicians reproduced in the same manner as the African bot fly? Oh, the real man. secrets of magic revealed. <laughs> We have this here a rather hilarious. unusual deck of cards. I told Blank you guys for a list hilarious. of my favorite things. I'll rattle some of them off. We have here waffles, beans, liver, lint, 
wood chips, doorknobs, bleach, pollen, the usual suspects. <laughs> the important point is that they're all distinct. There are no duplicates among them. I actually have a compelling theatrical motivation for having these, uh, but I'm gonna skip that because nobody cares. <laughs> we require one of these uh, cards to be picked, one item to be picked, so as I run my thumb down the side of the uh, deck, please just say stop anytime. Stop. Here? Yep. Please hold out your palm up, I will deal, deal you that card, and please cup your other hand beneath as if holding water or perhaps bile. My favorite emulsifier, <laughs> though I don't think I'm alone in that. <laughs> Notice, by the way, I say water, he cups his hand one way, or bile, there's a slight shift in posture. Say what you will about this guy, but this is a man who understands fluid dynamics. <laughs> and that is the most important quality a human being can have. So I just want you to know that. We have here a silk handkerchief, the last remaining prop, and I will uh, non-verbally display the fact that it is empty by flinging it several times toward the gentleman. <laughs> now that I've established dominance, <laughs> I will reveal the name of the item selected. And you might not be able to tell this at home, but the mood in this theater is tense. <laughs> Lentils. You picked lentils. Now, earlier I warned that this was going to be a disappointing trick, uh, but even I cannot anticipate the extent. Please keep your hands cuffed, sir, and rivet your attention to the handkerchiefs. Watch. As cascading forth, we find the birth of lentils. Lentils by the billion, streaming forward. You may keep this as a token of gratitude uh, for coming up here. Thank you very much for helping you back to your seat. My name is Kyle Eschen. Thank you for your attention. That is hilarious. That is funny. That is funny. Wow. Well, I'm certainly glad he didn't pick liver. That would have been gross. Um, hi. So you won't be upset if I don't call you for my daughter's birthday party, right? I will not. Okay, good. <laughs> you seem like a happy guy, huh? Uh, ecstatic. Yeah, I can tell. And what I, actually I brought you into magic? Like, when did you decide that's what you wanted to do? Uh, a family friend showed me a card trick, and he would not tell me how it was done. So in retaliation, uh, I spent 13 years learning the craft. <laughs> Commitment. Is, the, is this like your character? Or is this who you are? Uh, I toned down the awkwardness for the stage. <laughs> Good to know. All right, I love this one guy. One last thing before we go to the guys. He's hilarious, yes. man. Do you have any recipes um, a, a, that you can do with um, the lentils? I eat lentils dry, um, <laughs> although they're good seasoned with a little bit of saline. Um, <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, we love you. Thank you. Um, you broke character. You broke character. We'll be, uh, and we are going to be seeing you everywhere for the rest of our lives. Uh, you, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to do one. You're going to be a force to be reckoned with. There's no doubt about that. I really don't want to. Um, talk at all about the magic, although I love the fact, and this will serve you very well for the rest of your life, that you are able to stand with your hands as though you were palming something, even <laughs> when you're not palming something. It's very natural for That's you. That'll funny. be very, very useful. But I want to say that um, you did something truly impossible and truly amazing here. The best thing we can say about you is uh, you are doing something that many, many magicians try to do and very few pull off. And that is whether you fool anybody or not, you are funny. Yeah. 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 Really funny. That compliment is better than any trophy, right? I mean... That is true. All right. It's a worthwhile trade-off. Right, but you know that you probably didn't fool them, but... Not at all. ...that they might become a trio with mm -hmm. you. Uh, no, no, maybe? You're just no. so funny, so great. Yes, you are so amazing, so wonderfully amusing, and uh, slightly scary, but we love you. Okay, so thank you, Kyle Eschen. Right. <laughs> now, I think I've talked about in a previous video about the fact that um, 
I'm kind of interested in comedy and stand-up comedy and stuff like that. So probably, you know, in the future, I want to transition a little bit. But uh, this guy, man, in terms of that aspect, he's a, he's a huge inspiration. Like, you know, like <laughs> the, the dry humor. Uh, dry humor works quite well, usually, uh, if done well. But I've, I don't know if I, I've seen people consistently do it this well. Like, even Piff the Magic Dragon, he's hilarious. He has the same style of humor. Not to, the, not to the extent that this guy does it, but it's the same style. But I feel like he still doesn't get as many laughs as this guy. Like, this guy's just on, on another level in terms of funny, you know? And it's just so absurd to the point where you just can't help but laugh. Um, but yeah, this guy is hilarious. He's, I mean, as Penn Teller said, he's going to go far. He's already popping out everywhere because I've seen him before. Uh, you know, I've seen him. I think it was like a TED Talk or something. I don't know. But yeah, man, <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, he definitely didn't go on there to fool them. Okay, let's put it that way. He knew from the start he was not gonna fool them. You know, that's that's like classical stuff right there. Um, but in saying that, uh, you know, he definitely entertained people and and he you know used it for exposure, which is very very smart. You know. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is the type of guy that even if you don't love magic, you want to go see. You know, that's that's the thing about it. Because with magic, like. You kind of have to be a fan of magic to like magic. There's people out there that just don't enjoy it. They just don't really give a crap about it. Like, they, ah, another card trick, who gives a shit, right? Whereas this guy, you know, if you're funny and, you know, if you have that kind of persona, you rock up, they're like, well, I don't even want to see his magic. I just want to be around him because he's hilarious, right? So they just watch the they watch the show for the for the comedy and the magic's a little bonus, you know? Um, yeah, and like, it was, it was um, what's that guy's name? He was on a... Uh, I did a video on the uh, hecklers, and he was like the first guy. I don't remember his name. Um, he was the first guy that like did the the you know he went up the the chairs, and then he was like, "If you're not clapping, I'm gonna slap the shit out of her." You know, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put the link in the description. But anyway, that guy was on America's Got Talent as a stand-up comedian, right? So that guy's main thing is stand-up. I don't remember his name right now, but I really should know it. But anyway, um, he was on America's Got Talent. Everyone's loving him as a comedian. Right, so even as a magician, that's kind of his main thing. And, you know, I think that's, like, very, very useful because it, it kind of broadens the range of people that you can perform for, you know? Because not everyone's into, like, magic. I mean, let's be honest. Some people just are, some people aren't, you know? But if you're a comedian, then you have a, a whole new whole new dynamic you can play with. And I, I love that. And I try to, like, incorporate that a little bit in my act. Like, I'm not that funny. Like, I, I know I'm not that funny. But... You know, I try to get to get some kind of like, if if you watch my live performance, my video on my, my live performance, you'll see like I, I try to like kind of cut the tension a little bit with some jokes or you know I'll, I'll, if I feel like something's gonna be funny and I say it you know and it gets laughs then I try to play with that you know or like um, Mark my friend he got freaked out so I was like are, are you okay though you're fine though right like there's no it's no there's no problem then everyone you know that got a laugh so I try to incorporate as much as I can I mean I know I'm not. I'm not a comedian, but, you know, one day I'll probably, you know, it's obviously any, like anything, you know, the more you work at it, the, the, the better you get. So I feel like I'm going off topic. Anyway, Kyle Ashton, very awesome. You guys should check him out. Well, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe. I do these videos daily. Follow me on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All the links are down below. And as always, mad respect, much love, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.